Hello everyone. We are starting a new series on Procreate Architecture. We will be starting from a beginner level and explore how an architect can sketch, design, illustrate, and collage their ideas in Procreate. In this very first video, we will start from the fundamental tools, such as how to use the brushes, drawing guides, gestures, and transformation tools. Let's get started. Once you open the app, the gallery page will be the first thing you will see. This is where all your work will be stored. To create a new canvas, hit the plus button. You will see there are many pre-prepared sizes. You can also create a custom size canvas by hitting this tiny plus button. For now let's choose the square canvas. As we created a new canvas, we can start exploring the interface. It has a very clear logic. All the basic tools you will use often, such as the brush, smudge and eraser tool, the layers and color are located on the right top corner here. The size and opacity sliders for the brushes are here. And all other functions such as import, export, grid, distort and selection are stacked under these menus over here. Let's start trying out the brushes. Every brush has a different size, shape and texture to it. You can control the size of your selected brush from here. You can also tilt your pencil and create thicker lines just like a real pencil. You can play with opacity of your brush from here. Some brushes come with a built-in pressure sensitivity. This means the pressure will affect both the size and opacity of the brush. Procreate comes up with a big library of brushes. There are a lot of brushes for sketching, painting, adding texture and effects. We are also trying to contribute and build a brush library for architects. You can check our sketching brushes. We will leave the link in the description box below. You can see all your recently used brushes under this recent list here. This will be helpful when you want to go in between a couple of brushes on your drawings. The smudge and erase tools work with the same library of brushes. The smudge tool carries the paint around, it is a super useful tool to blend. And the eraser tool helps you clean up the unwanted areas on your drawing. The brush you choose will determine the shape and texture of both smudge and eraser tool. Let's clean our canvas. The eraser tool is a good tool but when you want to erase everything in your current layer there is an easy way to do that. Go to layers menu over here. Tap on the thumbnail of the layer that you want to clean, then choose the clear option. This will erase everything at once. Let's try sketching a tree. I choose the HB pencil brush, and bring the opacity to the fullest and the size around middle of the slider. You can experiment with whichever brush and size you want. I first create the ground level line, then I continue with drawing the tree. There is no right or wrong in this sketching and experimenting process, but what to do when you really do not like a stroke you added to your sketch. There are two gesture controls to undo and redo in Procreate. Two finger tap will undo what you drew last, and three finger tap will redo the last step. You can also use the icons below the opacity slider for undo and redo functions. Let's continue sketching. I decided to add a human figure and a dog. Maybe they will be enjoying a walk in the park. I will also add a small bench to accentuate the image of a park. Now I am quite happy with my sketch and I want to export it. From Procreate you can export your drawing into PSD, PDF, JPEG, PNG and TIFF. Go to the wrench icon, this will open the action menu. There tap on the share, from the list you can choose the format you want. I am choosing PNG and this is bringing the saving window. Here you can choose how to share this export. It is usually best to go with save to files option. This will save the image into a folder you choose in your iPad files. Now we exported this sketch, we can clean the canvas. In order to clean the entire layer we learned, we can tap the layer thumbnail and choose clear. There is an alternative way. If you scrub the canvas with three fingers, the layer will be cleared at once. Now let's talk about how to use the grid function in Procreate. This will probably be one of the most used functions for your drawings. It can help you draw in straight lines and be in control of the scale of your drawing. Go to wrench icon and choose the canvas menu. Toggle on the drawing guide. This brings the built-in default grid onto your screen. If you choose edit drawing guide option, then you will be able to edit the grid. You can choose between different grid types such as 2D, isometric, perspective and symmetry. You can also play with the opacity, thickness, and most importantly the size of the grid. I will choose an orange color from the color slider on top of the page and will make the size of the grid as 10 millimeters. Every square will be 10 millimeters to 10 millimeters. This will help me to understand the scale as if I am drawing with a ruler. When you choose the size you want tap done here. If you are happy with the color and opacity as well you can go on and tap done on this page as well. Now we set ourselves a nicely visible grid. Let's try sketching with the drawing guide on. I can follow the grid and create my conceptual design with the help of it. I can also use it to get a good sense of my scale while drawing. But this is not the only function of the grid. You can also turn on assisted drawing on my current layer. Go to layers menu and tap on the thumbnail of the current layer. From there choose the drawing assist. 
You can see here it is activated. This will allow me draw only along the angles of this grid, which means I can only draw horizontal and vertical lines perpendicular to each other. Let's try it out. It works perfectly both with brush and eraser tools. The only problem is when I want to draw a more organic shape with the drawing assist on. We can turn off the drawing assist. Go to layers tap the layer thumbnail and choose drawing assist. You can see that it's off here as well. The grid is still visible on the background, but since I turn off the drawing guide on this layer, I can draw freely now. What if you want to draw straight lines not necessarily perpendicular like the grid? Procreate has a great feature for this. When you draw your line and hold your pen, do not lift it from the screen. This will enable the quick shape mode. What this mode does is to turn a not so perfect line into a smooth line and it can have any angle. Moreover, you can use this feature not only with lines but also with curves, ellipses, circles, rectangles and triangles. Procreate will try to recognize the shape you are trying to draw and will turn that into a perfect shape. This feature enables you to draw organic lines and smooth straight lines together however you want without any problems. Let's try this quick shape feature in a more detailed way. I am turning off the grid so we can see better. I start drawing an ellipse. Keep my pen on the screen still, this gives me a smooth shape. If I tap with one finger while my pen still on screen, the shape will automatically turn into a perfect circle as you can see here. Holding your pen on the screen and tapping with one finger will turn any shape into its perfect form. Like elliptical shapes into circles, the rectangular shapes into squares, triangles into equilateral triangles. Another thing you can try with this mode is to edit the quick shape. Once Procreate gives you a nice smooth line version of your shape, you immediately tap the edit shape button appearing here on top of the screen. This will allow you to edit that shape. Once you are done editing, click the cursor icon here. Please note that edit shape button only appears right after the quick shape function activated. And it will allow you to edit the shape until you hit the cursor icon. After that, if you are unhappy about the shape, your only option is to undo and redraw your shape. Since we learned the basics of drawing in Procreate, let's move on to importing a file into Procreate. Go to wrench icon and tap the add button. From there choose the insert a file option. This will open up the folders window so that you can choose which file you want to import. If we check the layers we can see the whole imported file is on one layer. Before making any changes at all, let's duplicate this layer. It is always a good idea to keep the original drawing and continue editing on a duplicated layer. So you will always have a backup. In order to duplicate swipe left on that layer, this will bring three buttons, lock, duplicate and delete. Choose the duplicate option. Now let's name these layers so we are not confused. Tap the thumbnail of the layer and choose rename. You can rename your layer however you want. I will be calling this one as work in progress and the other one as the original. I will also swipe left on the original layer and will tap the lock button. This will lock that layer so I won't make any changes there mistakenly. Let's choose the work in progress layer and start trying the transformation tools. Tap the cursor icon. This will allow you to stretch, move, flip and rotate the current layer. There are four different modes of transformation on Procreate. Freeform, Uniform, Distort, and Warp. Names are quite self-explanatory. Freeform will allow you to stretch your work without preserving the original proportions. Whereas Uniform allows you to transform while keeping the same ratio. Distort will help to stretch from the corners and enable an angled look. And Warp will allow you to wrap and fold your artwork. However, keep in mind as Procreate is a pixel-based app, these transformations will affect your line quality. When you compare with the original layer here, you can clearly see the difference. I would suggest not making big transformations to avoid quality problems. Now let's move on to the selection tool. The ribbon icon next to the cursor will enable the selection menu. There are four modes of selection. Automatic, freehand, rectangle, and ellipse. Automatic selection allows you to choose closed spaces on your drawing with a single touch. Whereas freehand selection allows you to draw the limits of the area that you want to select. Rectangle and ellipse selection tools are as their names are suggesting. Provide a simple selection in the limits of these predefined shapes. Now we know how to select, let's finally learn about copy and paste functions. Let's select this figure in the middle. Swipe down with three fingers to bring the copy paste menu. From here, you can choose one of these cut and paste options listed here. I will be choosing the cut option so we can see the process clearly. I am going onto this empty layer called layer 2 and go back on my canvas to swipe with three fingers to bring the menu again. This time I choose the paste option. The figure is successfully has been cut from one layer and pasted to another layer this way. I am selecting the other figure now and will be choosing the cut and paste option. This will automatically open up a new layer to copy my selection into this layer. 
I am quickly renaming them so I would not get confused. And since all the figures are separated we can finally move them individually. If I want to move or transform these layers all together again, I will swipe right on all these layers. This will allow me to choose all of them to be transformed together. If I change my mind and want to merge these layers again, all I need to do is open the layers menu and to pinch these layers together. This gesture will merge them together. And this is all the fundamentals we will cover in this video. Now I will show a quick implementation of these methods on a speed drawing. If you enjoyed this part follow through the speed drawing to see the usage of these tools. I am importing an axonometric drawing furniture package. My purpose will be using the basic tools we learned just now and create a part composition. You can also try to exercise with a similar furniture package and try to build your own design.
Now as I am finishing the drawing process, I am exporting this drawing. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you have any questions. We will be getting into more details about Procreate in the next episodes.